Welcome to this third video on assembler. In this, I will be discussing the single pass assembler. Pass of a language processor is about processing statements in the source program or its equivalent representation. So, assembly scheme has two different forms based on the number of passes that is, single pass and two pass. Source program, when given as input to the single pass assembler which also takes the opcode table results in symbol table literal table and table of incomplete instructions and which results in the object code or the machine code processing of location counter construction of symbol table and literal table is same as the two pass assembly scheme and the problem of forward reference is tackled using a process called back patching the operand field of an instruction which is containing a forward reference is left blank initially and the address of forward reference symbol is put into the symbol table when its definition is encountered and the need for inserting second operand's address at a later stage it is indicated by inserting an entry into the table of incomplete instructions. So an example of backpatching here A which is a forward reference symbol. So its address is absent in the symbol table and its address is also absent in the machine code which is generated and the incomplete instructions. These two incomplete instructions are added into the table of incomplete instructions. When its definition is encountered, its address will be added into the symbol table and when it ends with the processing of assembly language statements, the incomplete instructions are processed sequentially and the addresses for the incomplete instructions are added into the machine code. Example on this single pass assembler. So assembly language program which is given as input results in the machine code and for generating the machine code it makes use of symbol table, literal table and the table of incomplete instructions. So first instruction start 202 will set location counter to 202 then instruction move R which has got machine code as 04 AREG which is register number 1 so machine code as 0401 equal to 5 is a literal which is added into the literal table but its address is absent so it is shown incomplete and added into the table of incomplete instructions similarly for move m which is 05 areg which is 01 and a which is a symbol added into the symbol table and it is forward referenced so it is shown as incomplete then loop which is a symbol gets added into the symbol table with the address to 04 move r which is 04 areg which is 01 a which is forward referenced kept blank and added into the table of incomplete instructions similarly next move r careg which is 0403 b which is a forward referenced symbol which is added into the symbol table and its instruction corresponding instruction is added into the table of incomplete instructions the next sub BREG sub which is 0 to BREG which is 0 to and equal to 1 which is a literal gets added into the literal table and it is kept blank and it is included into the table of incomplete instructions move M 0503 CREG then B which is incomplete added into the table of incomplete instructions sub CREG which is 0 to 0 3 A which is forward reference gets added into the table of incomplete instructions BC which is 0 7 NE which is condition code 6 so it is 0 7 0 6 next which is a forward referenced symbol and it is added into the table of incomplete instructions LTORG will assign addresses to these literals then add CREG B add which is 0 2 then CREG which is 0 3 add which is 0 1 so this must be 0 1 here then BCLE BC which is 0 7 
then le which is 0 2 and loop which is having address 0 4 to 0 4 and it is not a forward reference symbol so it gets address added in the operand field of the machine code now next which is defined here so next gets the address here then sub which is 0 2 ART which is 0 1 equal to 1 which is a literal gets added here into the literal table then BC LT and back BC which is 0 7 LT which is 0 1 and back which is a forward reference symbol then next stop which is not having any uh, operands then origin will reset the location counter to 219 after that mult which is 0 3 then CREG which is 0 3 and B which is again a forward reference symbol so 219 gets added here a ds1 so this is definition of a so a will get the address here as 220 a will get the address here as 220 again back which is defining the address for uh, this statement which is defining the address for back so back gets the address 204 then uh, next which is b ds so b gets the address here and this will end and when it when it ends the address for the literal is assigned which is 222 so after ending it starts processing the table of incomplete instructions first instruction which is to uh, which is location counter 202 and the incomplete part is literal equal to 5 address of equal to 5 is 210 so this instruction will get the address 210. Then the next which is 203 address for A which is 220 gets added. Next which is again address for A gets added. Then address for B gets added. Then address for literal equal to 1 gets added. Then address for B gets added. Then address for A gets added. Then address for next gets added then the address for b gets added here then address for equal to 1 this literal equal to 1 gets added here then address for back gets added address for b gets added and here is the end of processing table of incomplete instructions so this is the result of pass one assembler which is the machine code and this machine code is generated by using the table of incomplete instructions, symbol table and literal table. The reference for this was uh, the book by Dhamdere on uh, systems programming and operating system. Thank you.